The XM1 is a Magic MyFair 1K chip. It supports a first-generation backdoor command, which means you can clone any MyFair Classic 1K card or key fob to this implant. We've curated a collection of Windows software that helps you do this with the help of an ACR122U reader. Let's see how it's done. First, open the Gen 1 Tools folder. Then open the MFOC GUID folder and execute the MFOC GUID.exe file. Verify the reader is working by looking in the Reader section for the ACR122U model number. You can ignore all the other elements on the program screen because these have to do with an old transit system in the Netherlands that used to have cards that were vulnerable to attack. This software was created to attack those cards and remove the data so it could be cloned to another card. Today the transit system no longer works on these cards, so we only care about the program's ability to extract keys from a MyFair 1K card and dump the data to a file. With the source card on the reader, tap the Read Data button to begin. You can see above the program working through all the sectors to try to find keys. I'm going to speed up the video because this process can take up to 30 minutes. And we're done. The card's data was dumped entirely to a file on your hard drive, including the keys for each sector. Now open the Card Programmer folder and execute the MyFair Classic Card Recovery tool. The first thing you want to do is click the Browse button. Select your data dump file and click Open. This will load the data file into the Card Recovery tool. The next thing you want to do is click the Initialize button to connect the ACR122U to the Card Recovery tool. This next part can be a little difficult. With your XM1 firmly pressed against the reader and a green light on the ACR122U, press the Connect button. You will see the recovery tool connect to your XM1. There's the UID. This next part can be a little difficult. While keeping your XM1 on the card reader, press the Copy Card button. You must maintain a connection between the reader and your XM1 until the copy process finishes. Thankfully, it doesn't take too long. Congratulations! You now have a perfect clone of the source card in your XM1.